Okay guys, so as you can now see, we are on board a new Maya Line bus. Um, we've got the double deckers in. I've had to rebuild the depot slightly because for some reason it wasn't dispatching vehicles properly. I don't really know what the problem was, but moving the depot over has fixed that problem. So uh, something has obviously gone right there. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of pleased with how I've done this rebuild now. I think we got buses in a good place, we got the tram now in a good place, the looping system on the tram works a lot better now than it did before. Um, I might have to dip into the uh, the Landmarks DLC and, uh, and see if I can find something to go in this space that we have here, just to try and encourage more people to visit this part of the city, a bit like we did with the Rat House, which um, we shall be travelling to very shortly. I would like to see this bus on the duration of its journey. Um, so we'll put it in super fast forward and we'll watch it go all the way south to the hub and then all the way back again. This is kind of like a hub link, this Maya line. Uh, not 100% like it, but close enough I would say. It does go between the hubs, but then it also picks up in between as well, unlike the actual hub link, which of course only really stops at interchanges with the exception of Pimlico Island. And people have put in the comments that yes I do count bus buses as interchanges I know TFL don't um, but I do so it's at my discretion it's my city after all uh, so yeah I, I am pleased with how this is looking now we have a lot of work still to do we have a whole metro rebuild ahead of us which um, I think I've put off for long enough I'm gonna have to do it it doesn't involve rebuilding the hub itself it just involves rebuilding the tracks approaching the hub to try and get uh, a more fluid system of trains coming in and out of the hub and in and out of the depots because I'm sick to the back teeth of little notifications coming up saying not enough vehicles or vehicle broken down it really does my head in so any excuse to avoid that I will gladly take right we have arrived at Metro Interchange yeah, there's a lot of broken down metro trains. A lot of broken down metro trains. Oh god. The uh, vehicle's passing through one another there. That's new. Right turn here. Now we're heading down to um, City West North Interchange. I suppose we have to start calling them interchanges now and not hubs. There is only one hub and that's the central hub. All of these are interchanges or satellite hubs. Um, and there is a difference, believe it or not, there is a difference. The main central hub is where uh, I think of it as being like King's Cross St Pancras in my mind. It's where people go in order to get a train elsewhere. There are other areas in London but that's the one that I use, so that's the one that springs to mind for me. Um, that's the MCH. All these other hubs, they're kind of like uh, think of another good example. Um, I use Westminster a lot for changing trains, so that one springs to mind. Or, um, I mean, Charing Cross is another one, you can swap lines there, Embankment, Tower Hill, those kind of places. Um, where lines cross and you can interchange, but not as, as much as you can at, at big central stations. 
and I do use London heavily in, in my examples and that's because you know London's my nearest city it's where I go a lot of the time I know it fairly well I can sort of navigate my way around without a map these days uh, but anyway I, I, I'm getting off topic here carry on watching the, the bus so there's a couple of, of parts um, around this one-way system where the bus might get caught up a little bit so far heading in this direction we're doing okay it's heading the other way that I think we might get caught up a little bit um, and maybe get caught on this area as well during rush hour you see already there's there's vehicles deciding to cut across the front of us which is fairly irritating I would say though this one-way system apart from the fact that we couldn't alter it due to the trolley which I might change in the future but the rest of it has been fairly successful I'm quite pleased with how well it's turned out the traffic flow is more controlled than it was before um, and we actually have a greater capacity on the tram network now because of that little underpass we are going to have to increase the capacity of the vehicles mind by the looks of it but in, in terms of, of vehicle control and passenger control we're doing a better job of it we've got some really nice interchange points we've got some really good um, routes built, being built up I'm really really happy with this now hopefully you guys like it too um, I always seek your approval on these projects uh, I also ask you guys for suggestions so if you do have any suggestions feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below um, all good suggestions will be considered and I imagine the vast majority of them will be actually used as well because uh, I'm always of the opinion if someone comes up with a good idea it should be listened to so if you have an idea even if you don't think it's a good one necessarily put it in the comment section you never know it might turn out to be a really really good idea alright this is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would and this is in super fast forward imagine how slow it would be if we had it in normal speed ah actually this is a bit I wanted to have a look at now how this new rat house system works this was suggested to me by the way this idea putting bus lanes in um, I think it was JT Transport who suggested it and I'm very very glad that they did because again passenger flow is a small issue um, with the tram but in terms of keeping the buses out of the way with the trams but stopping other vehicles from getting down this bit it was actually a very good idea and I don't really know why I didn't consider it myself but you know that's why I'm glad that you guys are here as well to help me out and there you go bus runs alongside the tram in and out of the hub interchange interchange it's an interchange it's not a hub um, something else that's in the pipeline as well we have the new metro hub that will be built on in uh, Monday's episode after that we are going to have to uh, start planning the route for Hublink 2 because just like Hublink 1 as it's now going to be called um, we have a lot of new interchanges that have been built up since Hublink was completed and it's a lot easier for me to just reroute sorry it's a lot easier for me to build a new route than it is to reroute the original Hublink um, not just because Hublink is very successful and I don't really want to jinx it by changing things up but also I think two lines running through the city like that would be a lot more beneficial than having just one line snaking backwards and forwards between hubs I think then like Hublink will meet Hublink 2 at some point or Hublink 2 will meet Hublink at some point there will be an interchange between those two lines it will probably be over in this part of the city again that's going to become a massive interchange, City East. It's the only interchange in City East, so it's only fair that it becomes big. I reckon that'll be where the, the interchange is between all three metro loops. Um, apart from that, I think they'll stay separate. I think that'll probably be the better idea. Maybe within a stop's distance of each other, on a bus or a tram or a trolley, uh, or maybe even a monorail, but not right next to each other. I think that would be a little too counterproductive. It will almost defeat the point of having it in the first place really. So I see no need for them to run side by side. Okay this bus has finally made it 
almost, to City West South, where it's going to, I assume, drop off all these passengers. I can't imagine any of them will be wanting to head north again. That'd be a bit crazy if they did. We'll find out. There's a lot of buses here waiting to go into the hub. I might have to have another reshuffle of vehicles. I'm, I'm selling a lot of vehicles at the moment because of the fact we just don't need them anymore. You saw at the start of this episode, as soon as I um, rerouted the Maya line to a new depot, we didn't need the old one anymore, so it, it was wise just to get rid of it. Just didn't need it anymore. Unfortunately, we do still have a couple of other lines running from that depot, so it was ended up being a case of selling vehicles, which I don't necessarily like to do. Really, I could have moved the vehicles to the new depot, but... Um, because we've got double deckers now, more capacity, more passengers on board, uh, that seemed a smarter idea was just to sell them from the old depot and buy them in the new depot. I'm really struggling to fill the time while waiting for this bus to do its trip. What should we talk about, guys? I suppose I can carry on talking about um, future plans. Someone did ask me yesterday how much longer I thought this city would be going on for. Um, and the answer to that, in all honesty, I can't see this city ending anytime soon. I'm always watching people move around the city and vehicles move around the city and I'm always seeing things that I want to improve and change. So as, as long as I'm seeing that, this series will continue. For all I know, we're going to end up making over 200 episodes of this series. Um, hopefully you guys are as, as keen on that idea as I am. I am thoroughly enjoying this series. It's the series that's made me most popular on YouTube. So uh, I feel I owe it that at least seeing it out as far as I can. I'm not going to bleed it dry. If I have to quit while I'm ahead, I will do. But right now, uh, there's always things to do. There's a new hub link line. Like I said, there's rebuilding the metro. There's rebuilding the monorail system, which I'm also planning on doing. Um, as you saw from today, I, I've rebuilt three lines that were causing me problems. And there's a few other lines around the city that are still causing me problems. So whilst that's still an issue there's no reason for this series to end um, I mean that's that's also that's improving the original infrastructure there's so many m new areas that I can still open up there's two new suburbs that I want to build still uh, maybe even three there's an area an entire area of the North Island that I want to rebuild um, there's areas in the South Island which I want to rebuild as well the tram loop for example see if I can put a landmark in there or was it tram square I called it even though it's technically a rectangle um, that's an area that I would like to improve and there's always there's, like I said there's always little things that I just look at and think that could be slightly different so uh, this is another reason why I'm open to suggestions as well obviously I have my own ideas but if you guys see something you think needs improving for goodness sake let me know uh, I could end up devoting an entire episode just to to that uh, project, which, you know, I'm sure you guys would be as pleased with me doing that as I would be. Especially when it's finished and you look back over it afterwards. I'm actually really liking the fact that the Venetian line is so popular now. We have stomped on the City West Loop's territory slightly, but I felt in the end this was the better option. I wanted to keep the tram and the loop, because it was a really good way of transporting people. It keeps them away from the cars um, and also the, the the coverage of the stops is a lot bigger than you get with a bus. Not as big as you get with a monorail admittedly but I think a monorail you end up destroying too many buildings and it, again it becomes counterproductive. So to have uh, the tram be rebuilt and keep that junction but to now not have too many um, tram vehicles intersecting the main traffic flow as you can see there's no vehicles queuing so it obviously works it's a system that isn't flawed and the bus the Maya line seems to cooperate well with uh, these junctions as well so that's good with this interesting one-way system that we have going again it had to be done there was no real way to avoid it it needed to be rebuilt and I was happy to do so uh, right we are nearly back at CUS North. 
Again, guys, I need names for these areas of the city, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, someone suggested that I call an area Stanley. I'm not sure if you fully understood what I meant when I said name the parts of the city. Um, but I liked the idea of Pimlico Island, so we have that. That one's been confirmed. Uh, I think it was Bridney was the suggestion, which I, I, I like the sound of that. I'm considering calling this suburb here in the southwest corner. I'm thinking of calling that Bridney. I think that sounds quite cute. And it's a really nice little suburb. It's my one of my favourite parts of the city. As you guys well know, it's got my favourite view in the entire game. So uh, I see no reason why it shouldn't be given a really nice na name like that as well. I should have a list of notes in front of me as to who suggested what. I feel really bad when someone's given me a really, really good suggestion and I've forgotten who it was that suggested it. So I do apologise for that, guys. Just drop me a message or a, a comment in the section below if it was you who suggested these things to me. Um, I will go through the list as well just to make sure. Uh, it's only fair that I give you guys the credit that you so rightfully deserve. Right, we are very nearly back. This bus has been more successful than I thought it would be for a first run, actually. I'm very, very pleased with how well the people have taken to it. To have 27 people at this stage, I imagine nearly all of them will be getting off the, at this next stop. Oh no, we've actually built up... Okay, so we're now carrying 49 passengers to the original stop. That's very interesting. That means they want to get on the tram. We might need bigger trams on the City West Loop. That is something else that I did. I, I got the Railcad S200s instead of the um, Louis Qatars for the loop now. I had the assumption that we would need smaller vehicles for a smaller line. It could turn out to be the biggest misinterpretation in my Cities in Motion career. At least at this end, at the base end, there aren't that many people waiting. There's only one person on the tram that's just run to the north of us. We'll have to see what it's like as you head further around the loop. There's 23 on the one that I can see at the top there, top left corner. We should be okay. I'll leave it running for a little bit and see how it works out. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. Okay, so all these people are going to get off, and I imagine this bus is not heading back to the depot. It's running another loop. Okay. I don't think it's going to come back in one piece, but we're going to leave it there. If it breaks down, it breaks down. Um, so all that's left for me to say, guys, is thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed watching the video, and until next time, I will see you soon.